Hello everyone, welcome back, I'm Gaming Quitter, the most delicious quitter of them all. Today we're going to take a look at the This Month Intragale Lost update, because it's the 1st December. Um, happy holiday month, I guess, everyone. And we're just going to take a really quick look at every info, because honestly I don't have a lot of time, so let's get right into it. So first off, Yuji Okada, the director of Trigger Lost, starts talking about the current Princess Connect Redive collab event, which is live right now. I see a lot of disappointment regarding the event because as a collab event, it's just like for older players, it's pretty standard, it's a normal raid fight. And especially since the enemy that we fight right now is just a reskin of Corona Nyx. So a lot of people are kind of disappointed because a collab event usually um, when we get when we think about the older ones was very special like the Fire Emblem event the last one had the Colosseum fight the Mega Man event was awesome when the when the, the, the Monster Hunter event dropped we had like the fight against the Rathalos um, like both Rathalos so this one feels kind of slow or not slow I, I don't know it's it's just it's not as a big wham like the other events were, but we still got some nice cool units, I guess. Uh, I personally, I don't dislike the event. I really like the story so far. It's cute and I, I guess I see why people are a bit disappointed because the attack patterns apparently is also the same. Um, but maybe we'll get something else in the future. We don't have the nightmare fight. I don't know if we can take a look at the Omega fight yet. I haven't looked at the, the wiki yet, to be honest, but yeah, okay, I'm talking too long about the current event, um, but it's just my insight. I like it. If you're interested in what I I think about the event, I liked it. It's, it's a cute event, um, but I do understand that it's not something exciting, I guess. Maybe they just want to, because all of the units are permanent, maybe they just wanted to, maybe that's the reason why they didn't want to go all out and just make it a normal event, but yeah, um, Pecorin is one of the is the only character that we get from Princess Connect as a summable or playable unit, um, but they put a lot of detail into her. Um, especially her attack animation is basically the same like in Princess Connect, like with the three slashes, and she eats a lot, so they um, try to show that in her animations and all. So uh, yes, uh, very important note: see, she's not limited and. Let's go on. The plans for this month. Mana Spirals for Adventurers, Serena and Yua will be added very soon. Super excited to see what they do. Serena's kit, I think, is very crit focused. So having a crit focused fire sword would be cool. Also, she's a cute unit. Um, I might actually spiral her. I do have a sword um, to use her with. I'm just, I really hope that they adjust her them, both Yuya too, um, with Legend Walk in mind, but yeah, we'll see. Another thing we will get mid-December is the is a Dragon Yule themed Onslaught event, which will also feature new Dragon Yule versions of one male and one female adventurer. Also the last uh, year's adventurers will also be featured in another summon showcase, so we will have two showcases, one with the new ones and one with the old ones. Um, I. I, I, I'm actually reminded that I wanted to use Dragon Yule Mil Milora more because she's cute as hell. I like her a lot and I like her playstyle. So maybe I should do a, I don't know, Masters fight with her in Tartarus. If you guys are interested in it, just tell me and I will do it. Uh, I, I will obey. After that, we will get a rerun of the A Dash of Disaster facility event. And I guess they do that because a lot of new players are probably joining right now for the Princess Connect event and they just want to show where Mitsuba comes from. Maybe they'll also do a summon showcase with both units, which would be cool because I don't have Valerio, Valerio but I also don't think I would summon for him. Also mid-December, and a lot of stuff happens in mid-September it seems, chapter 17 of the main campaign will be added. It's the first time we will go to North Christia, um, to a place called the Grams. Many new characters will debut in this chapter and I'm super excited to see them. We already got a glimpse of them in the trailers for the new chapters and I hope I will be able to remember their names because I'm very bad at that. What I'm also very bad at is the time attack challenge that will happen in late December. I'm very very skeptical of this one. 
Um, apparently, when you do the, the solo quests, there are solo quests for Imperial Onslaught, Void Battles, Advanced Dragon Trials on Standard Difficulty, and Agito Uprising on Standard Difficulty. If I understand this correctly, you just have to finish the fight in a certain time to get rewards, which is cool, I like that. Um, but then there will also be a different ranking for Koa play. There's Agito Uprising on Standard Difficulty and Agito Uprising on Expert Difficulty for Co-op. Um, the standard is just for solo apparently. And the rankings will be updated daily and players will be able to see information of which teams were used. And I don't know, with cheese being a thing, I don't think that a time attack m m challenge makes any sense. Because everyone will just use probably Mitsuba and Marif and or Veronica or Karina. And I really don't know if 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 Psychames is not aware of that, that we all cheese the fights and just finish the fights in three seconds, and I don't think that there is any challenge in that. Except for if they make it on element, that would be cool. But even then, we will always find a way to just cheese the stuff, so I'm not entirely sure. But what is really good is that the people who place in top tiers will not receive any special items, they will just be rewarded with an event exclusive event exclusive epithet. Jeez, what a tongue breaker. For their effort. So I guess it's not too bad if you don't participate in it. But yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of time attacks though. And at the end of the year, if I understand it correctly, Alberian Battle Royale will also get a new update with new map mechanics and the ability to use skins of the adventurers in your roster, which is a very, very weird sentence. <laughs> you can wear the skin of your adventurers yourself. <laughs> and you can also use the weapon skins um, that you have in your inventory. It's just that you apparently cannot unlock all adventurous skins. It says that please note that skins for some, but not all adventurous can be unlocked with certain items or traded for in the treasure trade. These adjustments will help keep the mode fresh, so be sure to check it out if you haven't played it in a while. I actually haven't. I need to get back to playing it because it is a fun mode. It's just that before they changed the reward amount, it was awful to play. And apparently now it's a lot of fun because people actually play it now. And this is the most exciting news in this for a lot of people, and me included. Um, they are working on new high difficulty quests, which we already knew, and they hope to release more information on that sometime next year. And we get actually a sneak peek of one of the bosses we will battle, and it's such a good design. I guess it's a dragon again, and it looks so cool. It's such a cool dragon. Um, yeah, I, I love it. Um, I just if uh, skip to the next part if you don't want to hear my thoughts about what they should do with the next um, fights uh, with the new and high difficulty quests. I'm sorry, I should have scripted the, this, but I didn't. So I really hope that we will not just get stronger, stronger, stronger with every new boss series. I feel like weapon when it comes to weapons we're, we're pretty strong we don't really need more strong stuff and i kind of hope that and i know this is probably not everyone's opinion um i really hope that we will just get like new skins new effects or stuff maybe costumes or anything i just i would love to have different stuff i don't i don't want to just get stronger stronger with every new boss type because that's boring i don't want to have like seven star weapons with this because that's just lame it's just lame Procrastion in my eyes. Um, I really hope that we will get cool, cooler rewards for these fights than just you get stronger. Um, okay, let's get to the next part. <laughs> Speaking of not getting stronger but uh, having cool looking rewards, the next Legend difficulty quest for Akato Uprising will be made available in late January of 2021. And they don't say which boss it will be. Like, naturally, it should be Kion, and it's kind of weird that they don't just say it, because it, it's just a natural order. Maybe it will not be him. So, super excited to see who it will be. Also, something I completely forgot to say, um, there apparently is no new Dragon Yule event, which is sad, um, because we didn't get a Halloween event, and we also don't get a Dragon Yule event. That's kind of a bummer, um, but at least we get a um, defense battle, an onslaught event. I guess, it's something. 
what we will get, and I'm super looking forward to it, is a completely new Hinamoten team themed event. Um, there will be no Dragale Digest at the end of the year also, which is kind of sad, but I guess that's just how it is. Um, we still will get Lucky Letter Raffle and Login Bonus. And actually, Yuji Okada says that this event will not be like the others. It will have a slightly different atmosphere and will shine a light on those who would oppose the 12 Room Clans rather than work with them. And they also plan to start the new, new year off with an announcement in early January. And I already know what it is, probably, because stuff has been data mined. But I'm not gonna say what it is. Um, it's apparently about a collab, but that's all I'm gonna say. If you want to know what it is about, you can just go to Reddit or whatever and uh, you will find the infos. And that's it. Uh, we all got a tenfold summon voucher. And I just want to read Yuji Okada's words um, in the in conclusion part because I feel like this is just a sweet thing he writes. So he says. This is the final installment of this month in Trigger Loss for the year of 2020, so please let me close out this tumultuous time with two simple words. Thank you. I and everyone who works with me to bring the Trigger Lost game to life would like to express our gratitude to you for playing and supporting the game this year. Please take care of yourself and others and use the holiday season as a time to rest and recharge. If our game has brought a smile to your face this year, then we have done our jobs. And I feel like that's a sweet message, so... Uh, yeah, I know things have been rough recently, especially since Anniversary, which is kind of sad, uh, because Anniversary should be the part where everything after it gets better. And I feel like the game got better, but a lot of stuff happened um, that people are not happy with. And uh, I don't want to get too much into it, uh, so... Still, it's a fun game, still enjoy it, and I will continue to make videos on it. I'm sorry, you, 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 will, you haven't seen the last of me. <laughs> Alright, um, this video got a little bit longer than I hoped for, because uh, when I script these, it's usually way quicker and just shorter, and <laughs> yeah, I didn't script it, so I guess I now have to edit a way longer video. Thank you guys for sticking until the end. Um, thank you guys for listening. Um, tell me in the comments below how what your feelings are about this update. Um, what do you think about the future of Trigger Lost? Um, what do you think about the design of the new boss? And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to for more Trigger Lost content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!